En IPA, ja, ok. Du kan få smake litt av den, eller? Det kan du. Takk. Men du, Kjetil, hvor skal vi nå, da? Du, vi skal på fucking CBC Motherfucker. Åh, nice. Han er... Så god lov også, og det er kaldt. Da er vi på hyttetur i Danmark. Så må vi få noe godt øl nå, så vi kan få varme ned oss. Morgen! Morgen! Hvor er neste stopp? Holborg! Holborg? Ja, vi skal dit også, og etter det da? Ølkonsort! Ølkonsort, ja! Kan du fortelle litt om Ølkonsortiet? Ølkonsortiet her i Aalborg, det er jeg arbeider her sammen med Jakob, og det er blitt kåret her for nylig som Danmarks bedste ølbutikk i 2013, så det er awesome. Vi har rimelig godt udvalg af alt mulig øl fra omkring verden. Vi kører meget amerikansk øl lige i tiden. Der er kasser derovre, vi lige har fået ind, så vi kan blive pakket ud af noget awesome stuff. Alaska Smoke Porter for eksempel. Jeg mener, at butikken er fra 2005 eller 2006, noget i den stil, og den er blevet kendt som en af de bedste ølforretninger i Danmark, så det er Hva har du funnet? Du... Hva er det noe rått bak, vet du? Har du blitt noen øl, Vidar? Har vi... Og hva er den store der? Det er... Det er noe sound, så... Ok, aged. Yes. Like happy camper. Fuck it. Dra til min kjeller over friends. Og smak. Altså, du blir aldri leg. Du finner øl som du ikke visste eksisterte, og du kommer til å erfare øl som du aldri trodde kunne vært så godt. Mikael & Friends og Mikael & Bar. Gå for deg, ellers er du en jævla pysa. Fuck you.
Here's the shit, what have you done? Det var mye større. 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 Det var Awesome. It looks like it's going to be an awesome festival. Uh, it's already, I think, great for Lervik. Norwegians. I see a lot of you guys around, so it's cool. Uh, I'm just looking forward to see how the, the brewery is uh, accepted into this sort of circle. Since we are a bit more mainstream. <laughs> Enough. Hello, this is Magne from Lervig. I am at CBC 2013. Fantastic. They have been. Många folk inom smaka som jag ser kanske inte de mest extrema öl på CBC men någon av de bästa. Allerede har Rai i fan fått misskrut. Nej men seriöst som ett miljö för en brygge som har jobbat i branschen i mindre än ett år och möta alla dessa folk från Anchorage till Three Floyds till Lagunitas till alla de vi känner fantastiskt. Och så står som brygger av någon key vi känner öl. Vilket värsta är det? Ja, verkligen, verkligen bra. Check out Mikkeller and Friends. Awesome new bar i Nörrebro. Väldigt, väldigt nu bra öl. Copenhagen Bear Celebration. It's been awesome so far. We tried Three Floyds Dark Lord, we tried Surly Darkness, a lot of other great beers like Firestone Walker, and um, we're just gonna keep on rocking. Highlights? Uh, dark fucking Lord. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and uh, the Colonel. Which one? Uh, the Raspberry Sour. That surprised me. Only 2.3 alcohol. That's what you call a milk. And so we're trying to look for Demol, which we can't find. But they're Dutch and they're you pretty small. Space. But their brewery is kind of nice. So I see him, I see him. Here we got men on. He's trying to hit on some woman, so, uh, you know, that's why we can't find them. We're gonna find them and drink all their beers. The ball is awesome. Oh, it's been great. But uh, lots of people are missing the Molen stand, actually. And even some guys are panicking and... Where's the Molen? The Molen? I can't find the Molen. All the beers are made at the Molen. <laughs> but it's a sort of a practical joke we do here. And uh, we try to have people's attention and on what we do. And we came with nine different new beers. Uh, from 4.2 to 20%. And, uh, we love it. And we had a whole charade around it, but you've seen it. I think you have taken pictures from that. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah, Demolen. My name's Ron Extract. I'm one of the owners of Jester King Brewery in Austin, Texas. This is our first year at Copenhagen Beer Celebration. Our first session. So far, so good. Um, we brew a, a variety of different beers, including some beers inspired by uh, metal music. For this session, we were serving Black Metal Farmhouse Imperial Stout, which is a, uh, a drier interpretation of an Imperial Stout. We use a farmhouse yeast, let it ferment quite dry. We also make a few other metal-inspired beers. Uh, there's one that we've done once called uh, Thrash Metal, which is a uh, 
a strong farmhouse ale with American hops, a strong golden ale. We also um, make a beer called Funk Metal that we'll be serving tomorrow, which is a sour barrel aged stout. And we have a brand new beer called Viking Metal, which is our interpretation of um, traditional Scandinavian style Gotlandstrika, uh, which then we, we then age in uh, gin barrels with wild yeast and souring bacteria. So it's a very unusual interpretation of Gotlandstrika, but I think uh, something very unique. We, we like to brew with a lot of native yeast from the Texas Hill Country. That's a big part of what we do. We, we like to brew beer that has a sense of place, a uh, sense of terroir, and a big way that we incorporate that is through the use of native yeast, uh, mostly in secondary fermentation in oak, but we're starting to introduce more and more native yeast during primary fermentation as well. Står vi her på CBC i 2013. Øh, andet år vi holder den, det, er, det har været en, en stor succes. Øh, I hvert fald første dagen, vi må se i morgen. Øh, vi har haft nogle sindssygt gode brygger fra hele verden. Det er faktisk den, jeg tror, det er den første festival nogensinde, hvor der har været brygger fra alle kontinenter. på er Afrika. Bedste kinesiske, bedste øh, australiske, bedste øh, sydamerikanske, bedste europæiske, bedste øh, amerikanske. Øh, det er som om folk har det godt, de synes det er en god, øh, god festival, og det er jo det, som vi gerne vil have, så vi er glade. <laughs> so we're sitting here with uh, Helge from uh, Die by the Beer. Who the fuck is Helge? Helge is the guy who's hiding behind the alias Haffy, as you <laughs> might know him. Alright. Tell me, you've been to CBC? It's been freaking awesome. The highlights is all the fucking beer and all the fucking great people. I mean, the community is just awesome. Craft beer is new trash metal. I'm gonna talk about the food. Because, uh, you know, good beer, good food. First thing I did it was um, straight to the, uh, the hot dog stand. Uh, they had this um, Cigar City, Michele, uh, Sausages. Blew my mind. And uh, it looked like everybody else caught up to that thing. Like, an hour after I've been there. Um, of course, one of the best beers for me was uh, Michael's Blueberry. Of course, Dark Lord. Everybody likes Dark Lord. Dark Lord <laughs> was like everybody's favorite. Dark Lord. Dark Lord. All in all, super fantastic festival. Good beers, good people. What can you say? Cheers. <laughs>